so this is the passenger side and we're going to be doing the same speaker install on the passenger side come behind here take that out and use a flat screwdriver in this corner there's a little indent push it in there and just pop it right out and there's our 10 millimeter bolt here we're going to go to here and like i said i pried something in this corner it's rubber some people use hooks now um, just want to get the corner to lift kind of pluck that out so i have these uh like tweeters with the angle here and try and just poke it in there just pry it out it's rubber so don't gotta worry about it breaking but yeah just keep doing that so you get it out that one's out and there's our seven millimeter bolt Okay, so our 10 is out, our 7 is out, now we're going to pry, we're going to start somewhere on the side here. Okay, so I got a sweet spot here. Just kind of pry your way around, and remember, you're going to hear some scary loud clickings just like that. Just work your way around to the next part okay and after you're done fighting with this panel here just kind of yank it up careful with the sensor back here you're gonna unclick that and I have a toolbox or something just to hold it you know what I mean so it's not just dangling there by the wire you unclick that one down there and this one right here Okay, so I kind of found if you're holding it like this, it makes this one easier to get to. You're gonna pinch that green tab and pull it out. It makes it so much easier than having the fight standing up straight. Just make sure you don't pull this wire too hard. I'm sitting on the passenger side, holding the door panel sideways, and I'll close that green one. Now that's down, that's hanging out there. Uh, now we are going to need a T27, T27 star bit. And that is going to take out the speaker bracket here. Uh, pretty much the speaker itself. So once your screws are out. Pull it forward carefully. There's our far own OEM 15 watt. Now we're going to unplug this one and put in our new one. And all we're doing is clicking on the top here, press and pull it out safely. That's out. That's free. Here's our connection for the new one. It's very simple. Literally. Just gonna click it right on there. Actually, unfortunately, this is not the right side they sent me here. And you'll see it goes on. It doesn't fit. It goes on this way. But it's not right. It's upside down. So we might have to modify this. Okay guys, so I kind of make my own connection here. I don't really like doing it this way, but I don't have a choice right now. I don't have the harness for it. Um, so as you can see, skinny's black, which is the, uh, the green and, and the gray wire. but the yellow and green is the positive so I plug it in just to see if it's working it's fine just need to mount, mount it up and then put everything back just put everything back together then alrighty so it's back on there with the new connection now what to do is put the door back together bottom sensor first then your top one is the easiest so you just align them 
just line them up and then pop them in and you're done thanks for watching guys like i said if you have any questions uh leave them down there and comment below thanks and uh that's that for now and don't forget your 10 millimeter and your seven for down here